Hey, Queens and Kings. Okay, y'all, so this is it. This is the completed look. Completed look. Look at it. So cute. So cute. I wasn't going to show y'all, but why not? You guys will see the video before this anyway, so might as well. So cute. So cute. So if y'all ask me why I put this back up here, because you're going to see it in the video, it's because I ain't had nowhere else to put it. Y'all know I ain't got nowhere to put nothing in my home decor, so until I take down all the rest of the stuff. So I try to incorporate it. It looks so cute. So cute. So cute. Like, oh my goodness. Now this here, I had to go on Pinterest to get some type of inspiration because I had the idea, I, I knew the look I wanted, but I knew I was missing something. Like when I just put the logs in, I was like, something just ain't right, something ain't right, but I had to go find some greenery to put in there, you know, make it a little more festive, then I put some ornaments and everything in there, it's, it's so cute, so, so cute, I love it, I love it. I love it, y'all. I can't believe that I did it on camera. Now, what I need to show you guys how I made my cute little bows. Like, these are so pretty. And I was so shocked how I made these. And I was just playing around with some ribbon. And I said, you know what, let me create me a bow. I wish they could have been have bigger than this. But I couldn't have make them bigger because I ain't had nothing but that little tube, that little ribbon that you guys seen. So, yeah. Like, so cute. So, so cute. So cute. Very cute. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, y'all. I love it. <laughs> Culture. Right in the middle of eating them cereal. Yeah. Look crazy. Yeah. We always catch you when you're doing so you ain't got no business doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we came to do your tree. All right, Queens and Kings, I'm going to have to do a voiceover at this moment here because it just was not adding up. But these are all jasmine ornaments that I do have for her tree, these pink ones. Then you see how her tree look. That was a quick glimpse of the tree. You guys already seen the tree before. But these ornaments, um, all these are old. I already had them. The mirror ones from Ross. Those are some DIYs back there. But the pink and gold ones are from Walmart. And... Yeah, all of these here that I'm showing you guys now are DIYs, um, as well as my Chanel. Yeah, I know once upon a time I was into the Chanel on my tree a lot. Um, this little iridescent one also is a DIY. Now, do you guys remember this um, ornament here? It's from Dollar Tree, which I think I have five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have five of them. And all of these little gorgeous ones here are from Walmart. I love the way that they look. I have two of those. I got two butterflies, which is so cute. But look at these little cute um, unicorns. <laughs> totally forgot. And then she had a couple of these. These came from Big Lots. I don't even know where the rest of these at. And then look at this this little balloon dog here. Like, I totally love it. I love her little ornaments. So I got to figure out how I'm going to get all these on the tree to fill her tree out. up i am on my way i'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside we can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having been a good good time Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. 
All right, Queens and Kings. So here is Jasmine completed tree. I made it as full as I can, which I love it. She even loved her tree. She told me she loved her tree. I thought about adding some blue because you guys know she have blue in her room. But she was like, no, ma, leave it like that. I love it like that because it make it fuller. And she love it. Like, look at that. And look at her little cute little DIY um, reindeer that I did last year, I believe. Like, she even loved that too. So we had to put that out too as well. But I love her tree. Look, all the little ornaments. I try to fit as much I could put on this little four feet tree and some of her room decor. I even added some more, added this black ribbon up to the top with her star and everything. I wore the snowflake, I um, mean to say. Just to fill it out, you know, to, to give it something different. Because I think last year she had like a ribbon um, tool or something up there. I'm not even sure though, but I put some of my little acrylic um, jewels on her just to make it like ice drops or whatever. You know, just to make it cute and stuff. And I really love it. Love it. Then those little flowers that came from Hobby Lobby. The same ones that she had over her bed. But this is it. How cute. How cute. It's so cute. I just got to get her tree skirt down. Now, so therefore it can um, cover up the bottom. But yeah, girl. She love it. She love it, Queens and Kings. She love it. Okay, so... I would not be putting up with this going into 2020. A lot of this stuff is going to the Goodwill. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what, starting off with some of the bigger pieces. Like this. This. Um, I think we're going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of some of the damn balls as well. I think we're going to keep his trucks, his little yellow trucks, because he liked them so much. Um, the little scooter I'm going to keep as well, but I'm going to go through a whole lot of these here. These ones that all over the floor you step on and hurt your feet all the time. Yeah, those are the ones I'm really going to go through and get rid of, and I hope I get rid of a whole lot. A lot, because it does not make any sense, all these toys and everything in here. And then I need to straighten out his closet as well, even though I got all my Christmas stuff in there, see? None of his clothes hung up, because everything right here, everything right here, all over his bed. Then you got stuff in the drawer that don't even supposed to be in the drawer. <sighs> oh my goodness, child. Yeah, yeah. back over here i was gonna actually put the tree over here but i'm gonna leave the tree where i had it last year as well which is was next to his bed and uh, i got most of the toys up that i'm gonna get rid of which i got them all in this little basket here that i'm just gonna take to the goodwill so they can have all that i'm still gonna go through some of these balls i need to hang up his clothes fold up those and i have this over here but i'm actually gonna put it on this wall here so i feel much better when i can see his floor so pretty much that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna tackle these clothes and stuff lord i don't want to do that but i have to do it finish look who room is clean so clean so clean so clean how i like it hopefully it stayed this way only toys i didn't get rid of was these over here his little section so i'm liking this setup but i'm still gonna get rid of those but i'm gonna get rid of those after christmas after his father um get his pull his big one out so those can go but his closet is clean i did his closet i feel proud of myself i feel proud of myself <laughs> so his closet is done oh it's so bright and cold out the door you got your key Where you taking them at? Okay then. Well, you can walk to the car then, cause you is too heavy to be carrying. 
No way. Thing one and two, off to school. They go thing two, well one. But what is your car? And thing two. It's over there, your daddy parked the wheel over there. Uh, I done told him about driving my car and putting the wheel over there. I, I, I don't want to your car. Okay, go ahead. You run into the car? No, I started with my key. So you seen your father driving my car. I get your thing. Get in your car seat. Hold oh my purse. My oh my God, it's the heat on. Girl, you like it's getting turned the heat on. Yeah, you turn the heat on now. Your dad was eating in my car too because I see the paper. Why are you so loud? Okay, awesome. That started, so. I'm about to get me chilling off the school. Okay, y'all, so I've been back for a while now. Totally forgot to turn the camera on. Right now, I'm about to get ready to film the video for Friday the Collaboration, which is basically decorating a space um, out of a magazine. I think it's a copycat, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put a correct name on the screen if I am incorrect about it, though. But I got the living room how I want it and I'm about to get ready to put all this stuff on there so you guys stay tuned oh and I did went ahead and did the video for the glam out YouTube so by the time y'all see y'all have been seen it by the time y'all see this uh, weekly well daily blog but the kitchen and everything is a disaster like y'all the stuff that we to go through just to make a video it just don't make no sense it don't make no sense baby girl you got to get it together together asap so that's part of behind the scenes that you guys usually don't get to see and i'm about to show you guys behind the scene of me about to get ready to do this living room so yeah watching me some power right now <laughs> I'm watching some power. Okay, so this delivery room is all clean and done and everything. So here is the copycat look that basically I'm going to try to do, which is rooms with present, not presents. Okay, play with it, play with it. Basically, this little setup here, which you guys know my setup is not that. You know, I have the sofa, the yeah, that's sofa right, and a love seat. And but I'm basically going for more of what's on the sofas uh, on this chase. What is this thing called? A sectional and what's on the coffee table look. So that's what I'm really going for. You know, cute little designer look or whatever. So we're going to see how this turn out. We're going to see how this turn out. Have a good, good time. Okay, I forgot. I forgot uh the base. Now I gotta go get the base. I gotta go get the base. Where's the base? I forgot the base, y'all. How I'm gonna forget the base when I'm actually doing a video. This is what goes on behind the scene when we be creating these videos for you all. Listen, we don't be having all of it together. You try to put it all out, and you still don't have everything. So now let me go get the base for the other dome, and I can go ahead and complete this look. <laughs> I did change out the top part of it. I found a smaller tree, and I'm going to place these on here. <clears throat> Place that on there. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Y'all see how that rigged up? Okay. That rigged up like that. Which I got my flower in there too. Y'all getting a lot of behind the scenes exclusives going on right now. Like seriously talk. Um, now I got to figure out which dome going to go on what. Because I can use this on here. This one here I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just put this knob on here yesterday. And I think I could place this there. And I got this one here as well. 
but it looked like the same heights. Oh, Lord, these knees are popping. So what I'm going to do is take this one off and put this one on there. And put this up there since it gives me a little bit more height. Yeah. But I might switch this around because that means I'm going to be hiding that over there. So, yeah, I'm going to switch this around. Put that on there. And put this back on there. So, that's what it's going to be. Cute, right? Okay, so it is 3.55 in the afternoon. And I know y'all tired of seeing me in this bun. Day. I'm tired of seeing myself in a bun. But this is me all day when I'm home. When I get off work, this is where I'm at. And up under this bun, girl. And I'll be comfortable with my little night dresses and stuff on. You know, and the rest. The rest is exclusive. You you know, can't know about the rest. But, um, yeah, you know us how women do when we're home. We're comfortable. That's what we do. So today I'm gonna show you guys what I did, which I know you guys have seen these in my video pretty much if you did where I did my little pendant lights back there. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I use, how I did it, you know, for apartment friendly. I think it's apartment friendly, but it still is not like I want it. And I'm gonna show you guys after I show you all what I use and tell you what I did and all that jazzy stuff there. That's what I got going on for today. It's just a regular chill day. Nobody's here yet. Everybody is still out. Husband have not made it for work yet. Kids not made it home from school yet. I'm just going to wash some load of clothes. But, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I did to create my lights. Okay, Queens and Kings. So, here's all the material that I used to, you know, DIY my pendant lights over my bar area. Which is these LED lights actually came from the Dollar Tree and they bright daylight saving bulbs so you see these get them because they go fast and i think i got like 20 or 25 on when i seen them so of course the other people in the store like me and i'm using the dollar tree white um duct tape which i doesn't advise and i got this pendant light from amazon i link it down below in this little globe here came from Lowe's. um it's the part where you can actually use for it actually pendant light or you know your bathroom lights or whatever but they are very expensive so i wouldn't actually advise you to go that route if you can find something cheaper do it but you know this style of bling really is not that cheap but Lowe's just were charging too much for this thing here so i wouldn't advise you to do that but if you can find a cheaper route go ahead now i'm showing you guys here where i have screwed in the screw in the ceiling basically where i want to place my hole at because you're really going to need a drill as well to actually make a pre-hole so therefore you can um screw the screw into the ceiling so i'm showing you guys here now this is how i had did it but this is not gonna hold it up because you need that little white plaster part that actually come in a pack with these screws in a minute you're gonna see it fall just give it one moment boom that's it <laughs> so it fell so basically it's the piece here that i'm telling you guys that you're going to need to put up in the ceiling and screw that in as much as you can like you guys see that i'm doing here and then i think i'll go back with my hammer and bam the rest in so therefore it can secure it in there and i don't have to worry about my pendant lights falling anything down so here i'm showing you guys basically a simple way how to put this on here is self-explanatory you know but you have to take this off some people may think that you don't have to take it off but that's what's going to secure the pendant light to the light so it doesn't fall off that's it pretty much Okay, y'all, so these are it. And the reason why I put these up here is because you see out there in the living room, it's so dark. It's dark. It's no overhead lighting. So I'm actually thinking about doing a DIY overhead lighting over there just to lighten that area up because I don't even want to turn on my kitchen light or dependent light. But these are very bright, though. But um, 
see how this turned out like I really don't like this I think I'm gonna have to get the little heavy staple gun you know like the cable people come in in your house and they staple all your wire you going around your damn boat both the baseboard and stuff like that I think that's what I'm gonna have to do but I think that's gonna be hard for me to do because of this right here see how that little that part there is not all the way up to the ceiling but honestly I'm okay with this as long as nobody don't look up there but I'm gonna take the clear tape down I was trying to clear tape but that's not in work like the white tape didn't work neither i don't recommend it don't do that at all unless you want your stuff to fall or whatever but you know i think if i just take the tape off it just won't bother me or whatever but they so long you guys see how far they go down and look i try to even hide it disguise it all this i even try to pin this up under here it's so long and i couldn't find now that was so short that I won't have to have this much uh, extra room, but I should have just went to Lowe's or Home Goods. Not Home Goods. Home Goods must be calling my name. No, Val, we're not going. No, um, Home Depot. So therefore, it'd have been shorter. But I was trying to do some on Amazon, being lazy or whatever. I don't regret it because it still gave me the look that I want. I just hate that I have all this effect here. So I got to figure out some kind of way to hide all that. I don't know, but I'm gonna show you guys how bright these lights are. Like, hold on, close your eyes. Wait a minute. Here we go. One too see how bright those are and those from the dollar tree okay you better get your life you better get your life honey get your life because child dollar tree is coming through them things are so bright and so pretty at nighttime and it opened up that area over there in the living room but child I don't be want to turn these on all the time though so yeah but i really like them though i really like them but i know i'm gonna have to do that thing you know just staple them up there Cause look at it, look at the tape, look at the tape. Just so disrespectful. So yeah, I like them though. They really do lighten up the area though. But I think I'm gonna do a DIY pendant for up there because I really need to do that to lighten the area. Cause you see how dark it is in that area. If I turn off the crisp, how to say the Christmas light? Child, turn off that light. It's real dark over there. You can see nothing over there. See, it's dark over there. So I'm gonna do a little pending light over there um so therefore it won't be so dark but child I'm about to go get these clothes load the clothes in and wash these and wait for the children to get home and see how their day was and stuff like that Kids done made it home, y'all. Jamie in here doing her homework. Jamie say hello to the queens and kings. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to let her do her homework. Here's Andre. Andre, are you going to say hello to the queens and kings? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so we about to get ready to decorate his tree. With and, toys. Yeah, with toys, he say. Because he's excited about decorating it with some toys. Oh Lord, this it looked like I'm gone again, but nope. That was a lie. All right, Queens and King, look at his tree. Look at his trees. Just so cute and fun looking. That's one thing why I wanted to go with the colorful lights because his room is already colorful, which I could have did the white lights like I was going for. But it's just so cute and colorful, just fun. So if he just knocked this down, it won't be no problem. All these are shatterproof ornaments on here. So I just put the black one just because his bedroom... Uh, furniture is black in his room and I just put the rest of those clear ornaments on there but it's so cute then we use um his hat again this year for his little tree topper and then over here we put a little set of lights on his little toy area and then over here on the TV area and then I put this little runner that says believe so his little room is all festive fest festive hey y'all hello hello peoples what's today saturday 
Candle Day. Candle Day. I'm going to show you guys the candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. It didn't work out for me. I should have just shopped online like I was planning on to because, honey, I didn't make it out the work. Oh, that's a mosquito here. I didn't make it out out the work. I'm trying to get this ponytail up. So I'm going to just show y'all what I did got from Bath and Body Works because, honey, it did not work out in my favor because when I got done, it didn't have nothing. Nothing at all. But okay, why I have five candles? I don't know. I thought I picked up six, but got this mahogany teak wood. I got that for my husband there. It smelled pretty good. It smelled like a man. The peppermint, um, the twisted peppermint. I like that peppermint scent. I really do like peppermint scent. This here, the champagne toast here for Jasmine. Yeah. Okay, and then this here, Winter Daisy. That smells so good. And um, this is that um, Honeysucker. It smells good too. It smells like a flower. It smells like a flower. And then I picked up some body stuff. Let me see what that is. Okay, so here's the body stuff I picked up. This is for Jacqueline. That was one of her things on her Christmas list. This is for me. I wanted the candle of that so bad. They did not have the candle that was on my wish list to get the candle. This was a freebie. So this is going to go to Jasmine. Um, the Styles of Wishes. I got this for myself. Then I got this body spray here as well. I love that, that frosted um, coconut snowball. Love it. Um, once again that for Jasmine and then I picked up this for my co-worker because I was supposed to get her one of the candles I thought I was going to get her one of these candles but they didn't have the candle and then I was looking for the body spray and stuff like this of this the little smaller package they didn't have none of that neither like so basically all this stuff just got I just got it because I was there and it was different things that I didn't have so Oh, I almost didn't make it. I almost didn't make it at all. This just was so sad. So sad this year. So sad. I'm so mad at myself.